Is this the strangest mosque you've ever seen? This is the entrance to the mosque. It doesn't really look like a mosque entrance. It's also requested that women are covered according to the Sharia standards. Kayako is the third biggest city of Kyrgyzstan. Let's have a quick look at this very Soviet looking area. Behind me you can see the Orthodox Cathedral completely made from wood and without using a single nail. Look at the beautiful golden top and crosses. Let me show you what $50 a night gets you in Karakol. Hello. Welcome to my room. Is this the strangest mosque you've ever seen? We are in Karakol, a city in eastern Kyrgyzstan near the borders with China and Kazakhstan. And you might think that this mosque looks more like a Chinese pagoda. That's because it was built by the Dungan people. The Dungan people are Chinese Muslims who were expelled from China about 100 years ago. They fled to Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan and they built these kind of Chinese style mosques. It's not allowed to go inside but we can have a little peek inside here. It looks like a typical mosque from the inside except for the Chinese elements. It seems to be completely empty at this time. Here we can even have a better look. These Dungan people have been here for a while now, so their culture is really a mix of Soviet, Chinese and Muslim culture. They still speak some kind of Chinese, but they're using the Cyrillic alphabet now, so the same as the Russian. This is the entrance to the mosque. It doesn't really look like a mosque entrance, right? Here in the end of the path we have the mosque. And here we have some instructions. So they asked to give a donation of 50 som, which is 50 euro cent. And it's also requested that women are covered according to the Sharia standards. Karakol is the third biggest city of Kyrgyzstan and we're going to walk through this little park here. There in the back you can see the Tian Shan mountains and behind those mountains is China also where the Uyghur people live and right here we can see the building the headquarters of the region of Isikul so that's the region around the Isikul lake of which Karakol is the capital. We are here in one of the many parks in Kyrgyzstan on the right here you can see a person with a traditional hat I don't want to focus too much on him. Of course, we have some impressive statue. Let's have a look who it is. A Kyrgyz man and his horse. Let's go up these stairs here. Let's try to see what's written here. If my Cyrillic pronunciation is correct, then this should be Arik Mirza. Beautiful, with the sun peeking through the clouds there. At the end of the park, we arrive at some other statue and university. And many students hanging around here on the benches in the park. And it looks like this street has been closed off, even nicely decorated with some flags, although there are some cars parked. And right in front of us, the university building. Let's have a quick look at this very Soviet looking area. Little statue, a bit run down area, very quiet, there are no people here. And then the stairs leading up to very raw, raw building and the flag. A little one, a little Kyrgyz flag on the top. Let's have a quick look who this person is. Kazimali Shanmejev. Probably some kind of poem or a writer based on the little feather. 
Behind me you can see the Orthodox Cathedral of Caracol. They don't only have a beautiful mosque, they also have this beautiful Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Completely made from wood and without using a single nail. It is so beautiful, totally surrounded by a little park. And we can also see the beautiful mountains in the back there, covered in snow at the top. Looks like they also have a little vegetable garden around the cathedral. Look at the beautiful golden top and crosses on top of the cathedral. Doesn't look like we can enter though. Let's go all around it. The cathedral is super nice, but it's a bit of a mess around. They have put these containers here, I'm not sure why. This house is not the nicest either. But it's only at the front of the cathedral that the park is very nice. Let me show you what $50 a night gets you in Karakol, Kyrgyzstan. This is the name of the place, Matsunoki, and it's owned by a super nice Japanese couple. This is the entrance and you will see that there's a lot in wood here. Hello, hello. too much I'm um, being quiet this is my room here we have a little lock like this welcome to my room that's it guys it's a bit of a mess because I've been sleeping here last night it is very bright I really like it this is my view As you can see, almost everything is in wood, which is really nice. Sometimes a bit loud when people are walking. It's not very soundproof. And this is the bathroom. Simple but nice. 